So next, property assistance. So what is a property assistant? Now, it's not a term that's standard, I guess. Of who are they? What did they do? So property assistants for us are people that helped us to run our properties. Now they are not property managers. They're not licensed. So they can't run around doing things for other, a whole bunch of other people. But if you hire them as your sole like employee or contractor, they can do work for you. They can do things like, you know, getting keys made and putting lock boxes on properties and checking on cleaning jobs. Um, we had them do all of our move-ins and move-outs. Um, our property assistants also do our showings because we find if we have good enough pictures, good enough properties, good enough advertising, the decision is often made before somebody comes to the house. We still stagger our viewings so that we're creating more of that urgency. But when we're doing all of those things uh, properly, we really just need someone kind, trustworthy to open the door and show them around. I can do the rest on the phone. Our property assistants, who are they? A lot of them are stay-at-home moms. We've also had semi-retired or retired people. So, you know, it's people that want a little bit of income and a little bit of something to do work-wise but they don't want a commitment of, you know, a nine to five job. They don't want the commitment of having to talk to people, you know, all the time. This one lady was like, I, I was in customer service for years. I love some aspects of it, but I can't do it all the time, but I do miss it. So she worked with us for a few years. So, but a lot of stay at home moms. Now, why does this work for them? We pay them really well for the time that they're putting in. We really do. They get paid very well and they're very happy with it. And I'll tell you our pay structure after, of course. But also they have the flexibility. If they're just getting keys made and running keys to a property to put a lockbox on, they can take their kids with them. They can do that during the day, before naps or after naps. If it's just showing, it's evenings and weekends. Most moms, stay-at-home moms, will have someone that they can, you know, leave kids with. But those poor ones that don't, crazy. <laughs> but most people have an option, but it's usually for babysitting, but it's usually an option in the evenings or on the weekends. That's why we use stay-at-home moms. They are so loyal. We had them stay with us for years and years and years because they loved getting, you know, they got paid very good for what they did. They could work around their kids' schedules, nap schedules, husbands or partners being able to babysit in the evenings and weekends. All of those things were awesome for them and so they stayed very loyal to us and we had them for a long time now this is how we worked it they did our showings our move-ins and our move outs okay so that's you know, move out inspection move in inspection now you have to check your legislation in your area to see if they can do this if they're unlicensed but as far as i know across canada anybody can so that shouldn't be an issue for you but this is your business so do confirm with your local rta they can do you know checking of cleaning jobs we use a company that when we do a cleaning job, they we have 20, no, we have 48 hours to make a complaint. If we have a complaint, they come back and fix it for free. If we're still not happy, they give you your money back. So far, they've come back and fixed stuff for free. I always am happy with it, but I don't wanna have to go out and check those things. So they can go. Now, what do I pay them? I pay them $20 an hour to do those kind of running around details. So for 20 bucks, she can go out, make keys, drop them off at a property. It's cost me 20 bucks plus $4 for keys or $6 for keys, whatever it is. Same thing with um, checking a cleaning job, 20 bucks. So it's an hour, it's an hour minimum. I don't want someone going out of their house for less than that. So it's an hour minimum. They go check on it, see that it's clean. Let me know, I don't have to be running around. Plus, I don't care if they take their kids with them, let them. So it's great, they can be making money while they're you know, running around with their kids. So this is what I do. For me, I still run our ads. I still write the copy for our ads. I still do the pre-screening because for me, those are the most important things. If I get those all dialed in, the showings, I teach them how to stagger showings as well, like we talked about last week in our trailing, training. The showings take care of themselves. I do the ads, I do the screening. I then send it to the property assistant and I say to them, perfect, yeah, sounds like this is a property that we'd love to show you. Sounds like this, you guys would be a great fit for this place. I'm gonna send you on to whoever, Leslie. And Leslie's gonna show you the property. So I'm gonna send you on to her, she'll contact you shortly. And uh, you guys can set up a time that works for both of your schedule. I'm out of the picture. I don't have to be involved in you know what schedules work and what times and whatever. Leslie takes care of booking her own schedule. Now, again, Leslie knows that she needs to have three people coming to every single showing. So when I start 
when I get properties or people coming for one showing, again, like I said last week, I up my ads, I stagger them, I get more and more people over to Leslie and she's gonna get more of them and she's gonna stagger them 15 minutes apart so that we, again, create that urgency or that scarcity. We pay $20 an hour for them to do showings too. 20 bucks an hour doesn't sound that great, right? And it's not that great. However, we pay them a bonus. So if they rent the place within their first three showings, they get a $100 bonus on that place. Technically and very often, if we've staggered our showings properly and done our advertising and our filtering and our screening properly, we can have somebody come in and be do one showing, they get paid their 20 bucks an hour for that, and they get their 100 bucks, because if they bring in uh, applications that get approved, they get a $100 bonus for doing that. Within an hour, they can do more than three showings. So good quality showings, they're making 120 bucks in an hour and they often will do that. Now at first, it might take them two or three showings. If they don't get it in the, within the first three showings, they don't get the bonus. There's no bonus after that. So they really, really push, and I usually get a tenant within the first three showings because they want that bonus. So how do we pay them for move-ins and move-outs? Now, for me, move-ins and move-outs are a little bit more stressful because sometimes people are a little bit you know, tough on you and kind of want to you know, fight about things a little bit here and they're a little bit more stressful. You can definitely keep it on a nice, even tone. And actually I should do a training on that because we found some really good ways to get away from there being any confrontation, at, especially at move outs, but they are a little bit more stressful. So we pay $50 um, per move in and $50 per move out. Now, if they happen to be able to, again, scheduled, we send it to them to schedule themselves. If they happen to be able to schedule that, you know, a move in at 12 and a move out or a move out at 12 and a move in at 12.45, great. Then they're getting paid, you know, a hundred bucks and they're there for an hour and 15 minutes, let's say. So yeah, property assisting, 20 bucks an hour. Showings within, if they get a tenant within the first three showings, they get that hundred dollar bonus. It's very rare that they don't get it because they want to make 120 bucks an hour. Um, they can drag their kids to the showings. They can do, you know, evenings and weekends when they don't have kids. Um, sorry, not to the showings. Let me correct that. They cannot drag their kids to the showings. <laughs> they have to drag, if they want to drag their kids, they can do things like key releases and, you know, putting lock boxes on the doors, getting keys made, checking on cleanings, that sort of thing. They can drag their kids along. I don't care at all. But for showings, they have to have a sitter. They can't bring them. So let me just correct that. $20 an hour, the bonus if they got a tenant within the first three showings, that makes them make 120 bucks in an hour, happens often. Move-ins and move-outs, we pay them $50 per move-in or move-out. So that's the standard. That's what we've been using for years and years and years. Again, stay-at-home moms love it. They want something for them and they want to be able to make good money at it. And they kind of want to get out and talk to actual human beings. So it's a really nice way to um, get that, them going. They send me the applications, I process them or someone in our office processes them. So, you know, that, that's their only job is to do the running part in their minivans, sometimes with kids in tow. Great by me, win-win. They're very happy and so am I.